Hi everyone, this is Sherry, and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a sheepdog. Start with the head. You're just going to loosely draw a circle up towards the top portion of your paper, and then you're going to draw the body. It's just a simple shape here attached to the head. Kind of looks like a bell shape. Next you're going to draw the uh, intersecting lines so you can map out the face. And then for the legs, I'm just going to draw a couple more simple shapes. Kind of like I'm gluing a couple of uh, triangular shapes there on the front. So those are the two front, front legs and paws. Um, next I'm going to draw the uh, shaggy uh, hair, if you will, that covers the sheepdog's face. And I'm going to draw just a little triangle for the nose. A little bit more shaggy hair. And then I'm going to draw the mouth. There's the tongue. Really simple really short, nothing too fancy. Um, because there's so much hair on a sheepdog, uh, it'd be e it's easier to draw everything in into simple shapes. Uh, there's the eyes. So really most of the sheepdog is already here. It's just a matter of uh, adding a little bit of form, you know, altering it a bit. Like there's the hind leg and the belly. And uh, that way you get a pretty easy drawing. You can whip it up really quickly, you know, within about five or ten minutes if you give yourself enough practice. And here I'm just adding a little bit more fur, the chest, defining some of the some of the anatomy of the sheepdog. And be sure not to over refine uh, the the hair on the dog, because then it could get a little too busy, and it'll distract from the whole picture. So have fun with the uh, you know the shaggy edges and all, but if you get if you get too crazy with it, it can be distracting. take out some of these extra lines here because it was looking a little busy and just want to make sure when I outline everything it uh, looks nice and clean. There we go. That looks a little better. Finesse that a bit there on the hind leg. Much better. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied, so I'm going to start outlining everything in my Sharpie marker. And as usual, my style, um, you know, my, my pencil lines are a guide, but sometimes I, I break those lines a little bit because the way my wrist moves, uh, the flow of movement usually does a better job, uh, for me anyway, of capturing the essence of fur or hair or whatever. So that's just me though, you do what you feel is comfortable, take your time. Um, if you need to pause the video or rewind it, you know, absolutely do that. No judging here. Okay, next I'm going to pull up my eraser. I like to use this uh, gray stuff, it's called a kneaded eraser, spelled K-N-E-A-D-E-D. -E -E you can find this stuff at uh, arts, and supply, arts and craft supply store. Um, I like to use it because it doesn't create any eraser dust that you have to blow away or swipe away with your hand. Um, although it doesn't pick up heavy pencil marks as well. It's still just nice not having to clean up after it. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've finished erasing, I'm going to go back in with my Sharpie marker and fill in the eyes and the nose. And I'm going to fill in the mouth as well. Next, uh, I'm going to take my gray marker and uh, put in little patches of gray colored fur, a little bit of shadowing. Uh, if you look at a sheepdog, they have bits of gray on them. And, uh, that very heavy fur covering their eyes is kind of a uh, trademark of the sheepdog, as well as the gray on the uh, hind end of the sheepdog. This one would be a good drawing for colored pencils uh, because you can get a lot more subtlety out of the texture, whereas with a marker, you know, it's much harder. And I'm going to pull out my pink marker, color that beautiful tongue pink, and that's it. There's your lovely sheepdog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as I had creating it for you. Also, I've just started a new blog. It's called Sherry's Illuminations. Uh, it's just a little breakdown of you know, what I do in my personal life, like my family. It has links to some other websites with my artwork, so go check it out. Y'all have a great day.